guys welcome back to my channel so today's video is all about my favorite luxury purchases of 2021 I cannot believe we are already at the end of the year and already doing roundup videos I feel like it's gone by so quickly but I feel like I made a lot of really great purchases so I'm going to be sharing with you my absolute favorites this does span all categories but with a heavy emphasis on luxury accessories as you might expect so I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get started this video is kindly being sponsored by Farfetch who I have worked with many times before now and I know so many of you are already familiar and already shop with them but on the off chance that you're not they are a luxury online store that basically allows you to shop from boutiques all around the world because of that it is the most amazing shopping experience and the stock selection is so incredibly vast whenever I type in a search term I will get pages and pages of results so it really is amazing pretty much everything that I'm featuring here today is available from Farfetch so I will include links to everything in the description section if you wanted to check anything out. They were also nice enough to give me a discount for you guys as well so you can get 10% off your entire purchase. There are some T's and C's so it is only available for new customers and there are some brand exclusions but I will pop in all the details in the description section below. I'll also pop the code on screen and that will get you 10% off including so many of the items that I'm featuring here today. Okay so first up and I'm not going in any particular order but if I was going in an order this would absolutely make my number one spot. I've spoken many times about my love for this bag and technically speaking this is not a 2021 purchase um but the chestnut one is so I decided to sneak them both in I love this bag so much um as I said I've documented my love for it many times it's definitely not a new obsession of mine pretty much ever since I got it it's been one of my go-to favorite bags I just love it and I love the fact that it is so incredibly versatile um, as I mentioned it's not perfect um I don't love the little kind of um wear and tear that I see there on the top so many of you told me though that a bag liner will fix that so that is on my to-do list for the new year try and experiment with a liner to see if it does help that little kind of crinkle there but even with that I don't mind like I just love it and I have used this an absolute ton so I do forgive it for a little bit of wear and tear I just think it is the perfect companion for everything from kind of you know and running right through to a date night a shopping trip like it can just go with so many different outfits and for so many different occasions and I just think it's fantastic my white one is finally back in stock by the way on Farfetch and you can use my discount code on this one as well. So you can nab 10% off and it's really difficult to find these with any kind of discount. They don't go on sale so 10% off obviously you're very welcome. But yeah, I absolutely love this bag. I haven't used my chestnut one as much, I'm not gonna lie. I think my lesson is constantly just that. I find whites and neutrals a lot easier to match, um, but I have used this one a few times and I do really, really love it. You can probably tell this one doesn't have a little dent right there, um, but whatever color you go for, I just think these are totally fantastic and I've been very, very much in love with mine. Mulberry have also released the most beautiful lilac shade. It's a really, really kind of soft pinky lilac. It is so pretty including in the Marlboro Mini Alexa which is absolutely on my wish list but I wanted to dip my toes in with this color because sometimes pastel colors like that I feel like they can be amazing neutrals but they can also be a little bit tricky so I wanted to see the color and I saw this one and I thought it was beautiful so I'm sneaking in a mini haul in this video as well but it is just the prettiest shade how stunning is that it is so pretty I think the gold Marlboro stamping just goes so beautifully as well and it's just the dreamiest color. I am so excited for this line. I think they've done this color in a few different um, styles. The Marlboro Mini Alexa is 100% my favorite, um, but the wallet is just so cute. So it's a French design, so it has card slots on this side, two card slots on this side, and then you have a coin section, and then an area for kind of notes or whatever you want to pop in there, as well as small card slots on the back. And that's always kind of the biggest factor in terms of how much I use a wallet. I have a ton of cards, so if there aren't enough card slots I'll quickly get frustrated with the wallet whereas this one has absolutely tons and I just think it's gorgeous like really nice compact and a nice medium size I feel like so many of my wallets are either large or really tiny and um, whereas this one is actually like a proper medium wallet and I think the color is just so pretty so I'm super excited for all the Mulberry new arrivals I think they're so beautiful and I think this color is just stunning 
Next up, and probably no surprise to anyone who's watched any of my videos over the past few months, but my Jean Vita Rossi heels. I love these so, so much. They are just the most fantastic shoe, and I've had many shoes from Jean Vita Rossi, and I've had a lot of this suede style in the higher heel height. First time I've ever tried this kind of medium heel height, so this is the 85, I believe and it's just fantastic. Like it is so comfortable and because it's so comfortable, it just makes it so versatile and they go with absolutely everything because of the more neutral tone. The shape is very, very classic and I just love them. Like cannot get enough, just would highly recommend. These ones have also been restocked because I know they sold out really quickly, but they have now been restocked. And again, you can use my 10% off discount code on these. Honestly, I would recommend these to absolutely anyone. I love these to bits for the comfort, the look, and also the versatility. I just think they are fantastic and have been the best wardrobe investment this year. Next up are another pair of Jamie Tarossis, but these are a little bit more of an honorable mention because I didn't get an absolute ton of use out of these, but I did wear them out for the first time the other night and I loved them. They were so great. I love the look of them. I love the fact they just disappear into your foot. And my biggest concern was how secure they'd be, which is why I didn't wear them out sooner. I was just concerned that I'd have to change out shoes in the middle of the night and I have to keep readjusting not the case at all like for a pair of slingbacks they were incredibly secure and because of this diagonal strip right on the front there it just made them so much more comfortable because your feet weren't slipping in and out and slingbacks can definitely be a little bit hit or miss for me but these were absolutely fantastic so i was so so delighted i love plexi styles as you see in a second i just think they are so great and such a nice alternative to a nude shoe you know i am a huge fan of just a classic nude pump but these very much give you that same effect of just kind of disappearing into your foot and your leg but they're just a little bit more edgy and a bit more kind of modern looking so I love these and definitely worthy I think of an honorable mention and I did just want to share another pair of plexi pumps that I got from Jean Vita Rossi and these have been on my wish list all season long and I saw a few photos of these on Instagram which just made me totally fall in love with them they are so cute. So they're a little bit more edgy now that I imagine not everyone's going to enjoy the look of these, but I think they are so great. So you have that kind of nude heel on the back and then you have this plexi element on the front and then you have this fantastic pointed toe. I think these are so cool. I love how edgy they are while still being very neutral and just the most gorgeous things. I would happily have the entire plexi line from Jean Vita Rossi. I just think they are so great. And, and as I said, I just love the fact they achieve that kind of nude, barely there look while still being totally modern and fresh and yeah, I just can't get enough. So I'll keep you updated on the comfort of these. Um, but yeah, absolutely delighted. I think they are so, so beautiful. Next up is a bag and it's my Valentino Roman stud bag and I actually had to check my dates because I actually thought I'd had this way longer than a year but I only got it in February and it just feels like I've had this bag forever um, but I love it. Um, I've spoken about my feelings on this bag before because I definitely don't think it would be for everyone um, but if you like the look I do think it is just the most beautiful bag and kind of like the Jean Vita Rossi plexi pumps like I love the fact that this is it has all the makings of like a classic bag in terms of the fact that you know it is a nude color it's a shoulder bag it's a flap design but it's just so completely modern and fresh and a little bit edgy and I just love that about it and it really does kind of excite me every time I get to wear this bag out. I just think it's so beautiful and it makes such a statement whilst also being just very, very easy to pair because of the colorway. So huge, huge fan of this. I just think it is so beautiful. I just love everything from the hardware to how beautiful the leather is and yeah, I just cannot get enough. So. If you're on the fence, I've still very much been enjoying mine. I love the fact they are bringing out so many new colors and styles with this line as well. They have a red one, which I just think is so incredibly stunning. But yeah, I just love this line to bits. So, so beautiful and definitely a favorite purchase for me for 2021. Next up are my Golden Goose sneakers. And I would definitely say this is probably my riskiest purchase of 2021. There was a very high chance that I was not gonna get along with these, but I've actually ended up loving them. Like, I think they are so great and so different from anything else I have in my closet. I have really grown to like the distressed look and just how carefree it is to wear them. You know, you really don't have to worry about getting them dirty at all. I still can't tell what's actual dirt and what's just distressing, which is both like a weird thing, but also very, very freeing as well. I love the little statement star as well. And I just think they've been fantastic. So 
really liking these. I also think the Vea sneakers are great as well if you're wanting something which is kind of similar but not quite as expensive. Those are very comfortable for me as well. Um, but these ones definitely have like a special place in my heart. I just think they have been so great and just a real surprise for me over the past year. So much so that I did decide to get the other pair that I had my eye on. I did mention that these were on my wish list a few months ago, but I really wanted to make sure I was getting enough use out of my other ones before splurging on another pair, just because they are so expensive. But I finally decided to take the plunge, and these are very different from the other ones, um, just in terms of like the overall vibe. So here they are. So these are the pure style ones, I think. I'm not super familiar with all the golden goose names, but I think they're the pure style ones. And these are the much kind of cleaner looking ones. So many of you told me that these are just ridiculously comfortable. I find the other ones very, very comfy, but apparently these ones have like a lot of padding as well. So I am very, very excited about that. I love the fact they are a little bit kind of cleaner looking in terms of the pure white, but you have this little accent on the back there. These come with a whole bunch of different kind of styles, but I went for the leopard print, which I thought was just such a cool feature. And you do have a little bit of a platform. I tried so many platform sneakers and so many of them I just find to be way too chunky and out there for me. Whereas I love the fact these do have a little bit of a platform, but they're not kind of super, super out there. So I am very, very excited. I did size down in these. Um, I did try them on before and I found that my regular size was a bit too big. So I did have to size down, but I cannot wait to give these a go. Once I do get some use out of them, I will do a whole sneaker review with these ones and the bare ones. Um, but yeah, super excited about these. I think they are gorgeous. Next up is my Gucci Mini Diana, and I had to include this. I have been loving this one so, so much, and there's definitely a theme of my favorite bags recently where I really prioritize bags that you can wear a multitude of different ways. You know, it's what I love about my Valentino that it looks as great as a shoulder bag as it does as a top handle. My Chanel 19, you know, I love the fact that you can wear it so many different ways. And same with this Gucci Diana, you know, I love the fact that it looks great as a little crossbody, looks really nice on the shoulder, you can wear it as a top handle, like, it's just so versatile in that way and it's just wonderful you know it is a mini style but you can still fit a decent amount inside really simple on the inside very easy to access your items i like the white because it is you know just so versatile again it can be worn with absolutely anything and it's just the best little thing so definitely another favorite for me it has been in pretty much constant rotation ever since i got it and it's just not getting old i just think it's beautiful and speaking of my Chanel 19, this is definitely a style that I had to include. I've just been enjoying it so much and I feel like it's probably up there in terms of my Golden Goose sneakers as purchases that really could have gone either way for me, but it's just been the best thing. I love the fact that it's a little bit more casual, but at the same time, it does feel fancy and nice enough to wear to still a very, very fancy occasion. Um, I got the small one, but even though it's the small size, it can still fit a very decent amount, certainly everything that I would need on a day-to-day -day basis. And the wear and tear has been fantastic. Like I have not felt the need to baby this at all and it still looks as good as the day I got it. The shaper definitely helps, so I would definitely recommend getting one if you are considering this bag. Um, but after I got that, I just feel like it's a lot more structured without being overly rigid. So you still have that beautiful kind of puffy element, but you do have that added kind of safety net of the base shaper, so. I love that. Um, the hardware is more on the heavy side and that's really what gives it its weight, but I don't mind that because I just feel like it makes it feel like a more substantial bag, but without being kind of overly heavy in the actual body. So I just can't say enough good things. I'm um, definitely probably another love it or hate it one, uh, but if your style is a little bit more casual, especially if you find the Chanel Classic Flap a little bit too rigid and structured for you, I imagine you might get along much better with this one. Um, and yeah, I just love it to bits. So definitely another favorite for me for 2021, just being the best buy. And my next favorite, my Chloe Woody tote. I have documented my love for the Chloe Woody line a lot, but I do think it's kind of worthy of the hype. Like I've just been loving mine a lot. I definitely think I have the clear winner in terms of um, which style I get along with better. And I was kind of leaning more toward the medium size. Um, I also have the brown one, which I do think I'm gonna part ways with in the new year. But this large one has just been getting so much more use. And I think it's more reflective of kind of what I use it for the fact that I do use it for and running and just kind of lugging around all the stuff I need to carry so for me in that case bigger is better um but whatever style you go for I just think they're all great I still have my basket one from the summer which I'm really looking forward to using next year 
and I just love them. They're very comfortable to wear, very chic for what is kind of a large oversized tote and just a really, really nice style from Chloe. So definitely another favorite, just something that I've really, really been enjoying. Even for something as mundane as kind of, you know, groceries and running that sort of thing, I just find it's been the best thing. And then finally, my very last favorite is a clothing pick. And this skirt is absolutely a standout one. And this technically isn't a new style. I've had this style. I do have it in several prints now for, gosh, I think I bought my first one two, maybe three years ago. It's a classic style from Reformation, but I just think it is fantastic. And I fell in love with this abstract print as soon as I saw it. I just love everything about this skirt from the fit to the drape. I love the side slit as well, but it's not a super form fitting one. So even though the side slit is very, very high, the fact that you do have a little bit more length and it isn't like super tight, it just makes for a more elegant finish. I love this beautiful abstract print. It has this beautiful kind of navy background with this abstract white dot. It is so pretty and I have worn these with everything from a bodysuit to a biker jacket to a sweater, you know, they really are fantastic and it's a classic style for a reason and I love the fact they just keep on releasing new prints. I would happily have these in every single print and style. I just think they are gorgeous and absolutely just one of my favorite clothing pieces ever. So a favorite for 2021 and beyond. This one is also included in the discount code as well, but just the most gorgeous thing and something that instantly makes you feel great as soon as you put it on. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. As usual, I will include links to everything I featured in the description section below, along with all the details for that discount code if you did want to check it out. If you have any questions for me, then leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite purchase over the past year was as well. I would love to hear about it. As always, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Doctor, you know.